After narrowly avoiding to the face what was technically way less than half of the available hammers raining from above, Mario and team reached the other side of the devilish Hammer Valley. What the heck, man? How do they even have that many hammers on them? Never underestimate a hammer, bro. Even the young ones. Everywhere I look, I still see hammers. This guy's gone full-blown PTSD. We need to get him out of here. Over there, a cave entrance ahead. Looks quiet. Let's head that way. Just beyond the far lip of Hammer Valley lies the entrance to Koopa Crypt, the final resting place for Koopa Kin that have run out of continues. Koopist clergy purports that individuals laid to rest in this sacred space would get to enjoy eternal life. Turns out they were right, but not the way they expected. Koopas laid here do indeed live forever, but in the form of dry bones. When the body is there, but the mind is gone, you've got yourself a dry bones. Don't cry for dry bones when you vaporize their skeletons, for they are already dead. Mario, I don't like the way this place looks. Maybe we should go back outside. Oh, you want more hammers? Sure, let's turn around. Ma! Stuck between raining iron and the land of the dead? Just my day. Looks like I should have brought my hammer and you should have brought your poltergust. Wait, there's ghosts here too? Koopa Crypt is a vast complex of chambers, graves, and bottomless pitfalls. It appears to be carved by hand beneath the small mountain that rests above it. But by who? No one knows. So mysterious is the crypt that its true depths have yet to be charted. Some say that the plunges go all the way down to the underwear itself. Brave few have taken the dive to find out, but none have returned to tell the tale. Tourism at the Koopa Crypt is a bit anemic. While carefully guided tours have been established by the Koopa Land Council, not many take up the offer, often preferring to visit more popular locations such as Koopa City. And what a shame. In all its dreary scenery and excess of death, there's actually quite a subdued beauty to the crypts. The entrance from the world outside puts you immediately into the silent vestibule, where visiting patrons are blessed with a shower of holy stars. This fills the recipient with light and power. Koopa's clergy propose that this energy is pure distilled life force rising from the spirits below. Spooky! After passing through the vestibule, patrons now find themselves standing before a great chamber, unfathomably large with air still as ice. Pass carefully and respectfully through the cemetery past the rows of unmarked graves, treacherous tombs, and loose cannon thwomps that are all too willing to crush unsuspecting visitors. See, that wasn't a so bad. We were invincible the whole time. I somehow didn't feel so invincible. Look, a chapel up ahead, over the bridge. Uh, how many more rotten cadavers do we gotta send back to the underwear? At the end of the cemetery stands the mausoleum. Disputed by the Koopas clergy, this large structure was either used as a house of worship or a house of condemnation. Either way, the interior appears to be beautifully furnished and crafted by artisans' hands. However, the door leading inside was sealed shut some unknown years ago, so tourists will simply have to settle for looking through the ornate stained glass windows. Still, the Koopa Crypt Mausoleum is considered one of the best kept secrets in Koopa Land. Mama friggin' Mia! That giant thwomp almost killed us! Screw that thwomp! Do you see the size of the bones in that pit? That carrion turtle must have been huge! There appears to be a pipe below the yonder heap of bones. Is there more here? Only one way to find out. Or there's another way to find out. We can just take this back door here. Mario! Our tour here hasn't ended just yet. Tales from surviving explorers speak of an endless chamber of catacombs lost deep below the crypt. These catacombs consist of pillars of fashioned stone reaching down farther than any candle can light. After an expedition by the famed explorer, Captain Toad, he described that you could drop a rock down into the abyss and never hear it hit the ground. Upon the aforementioned pillars are carved horizontal slots large enough to house Koopa deceased, many of which are filled with even more dry bones. I can't remember what I lost count of first, the number of D bones or the number of times I soiled my pants, quoth the intrepid Captain Toad. It goes deeper still. It actually smells like death here, and that's not even a dig at the stinking Koopas. Mario, I'm looking down. Don't. But everywhere is down. 
How far down do you think it goes? I can see the wandering eyes of boneheads everywhere. <laughs> we clean up what we can, then we move on. Same plan as always. <laughs>